there's a study that the FDA often cites. Federal Drug Administration? Mm-hmm. That 100,000 Americans die every year from their prescription drugs um, that they took just as the doctor directed. This isn't when a doctor or a pharmacist made a mistake or the patient accidentally took too much. This is when everything supposedly went right. So that just shows you how dangerous these products are. In 2008, the New York City medical examiner ruled after Heath Ledger's death an acute intoxication from the combined effects of oxycodone, hydrocodone, and three other drugs. An autopsy concluded his death was caused by an accumulation of drugs over time. Drugs like oxycodone sold in the U.S. under the brand name Oxycontin and hydrocodone are often prescribed as painkillers but they have been linked to a dramatic increase in overdose fatalities in the United States. Researchers from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention tracked this disturbing pattern by singling out the state of West Virginia. Dr. Leonard Palazzi is with the CDC. We picked West Virginia because it has some of the highest rates of prescription drug overdose in the country and has seen a recent dramatic increase in those rates. Where does marijuana lie in this? What kind of staggering number do we find? I don't know. 50,000? 250,000? 300,000? From marijuana, I'd probably say then 80,000. I would say it would be hundreds of billions. Get ready for it. Here it comes. There are no deaths from cannabis use anywhere. You can't find one. In 10,000 years of known use of marijuana, there's never been a single death attributed to marijuana. There's 400,000 deaths in America alone every year that are directly attributed to tobacco. I've heard that you have to smoke something like 15,000 joints in 20 minutes to get a toxic amount of Delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol. I challenge anybody to do that. And even in the animal studies where people have loaded the animals up with doses that would be hundreds of times what a human could possibly be exposed to, I know the animals don't die. The old E50 seems to be astronomical. I mean, you can die from ingesting too much aspirin. You can die from ingesting too much coffee. The drug warriors who say we have to protect society, save these people, are being just a little bit disingenuous. Not one university or medical facility has ever recorded a single death directly attributed to marijuana. But never mind that. There's other problems, other reasons to fear it. Take addiction, for example. There are more kids in addiction clinics for marijuana than any other substance. This must mean that marijuana is the most addictive substance today. It's undoubtedly true that there are more uh, teenagers and kids in treatment for marijuana than all the other drugs combined. What the DEA never tells you is why that's true. A kid is caught possessing or smoking marijuana. He's taken to court. He's given a choice. Either you, you know, some horrible penalty or you go to a treatment center. Obviously chooses to go to treatment and goes to treatment there, he's considered an addict. But then the DEA gets the point of that stat and say, look at all these kids in treatment for marijuana. God, it must be because today's marijuana is not the marijuana that your parents were smoking. As far as I understand, only 3% of the people in treatment for marijuana are there voluntarily. The other 97% were told to by their guardian or told to by a judge. You can choose between jail or treatment. And a lot of people choose treatment. It provides no basis for speaking about addiction. Anybody who is at all sophisticated about marijuana would rate them the way two researchers were asked to rate drugs in order of addiction. Nicotine was one, alcohol was two, then heroin, then cocaine, and then coffee, and then marijuana. There may have been a couple of other drugs, but marijuana was at the very bottom, uh, below coffee. This narcotic, unlike the opiates, the synthetics, and cocaine, is non-addictive. What do you mean by non-addictive? By non-addictive, it is meant that the user of marijuana, when deprived of the drug, will not experience the agonies of withdrawal. It is habituating, but its use can be discontinued. Who 
the fuck are you to think I'm a fucking criminal just because I'm smoking some marijuana? Huh? I'm approved medical marijuana patient, motherfucker! I'm approved to smoke this shit! I got a disease, motherfucker! What the fuck you got? What the fuck you got to judge me, motherfucker? Yeah! What the fuck you got? I fucking had most all my fucking intestines ripped out, motherfucker, from a disease! How the fuck you know this shit ain't fucking helping me out? Huh? How the fuck you know? It must be fucking nice that you're so fucking healthy, you can climb up on your fucking soapbox and fucking preach to the world that fucking this should be illegal! You don't fucking know what it's like to live with a 